Okay, folks, welcome back. And first of all, welcome to all my new subscribers that have come over recently. Hmm, I think I'd better make something pretty funky then. So today, I thought we would do something a little bit different. Well, not really different, actually. <laughs> it is different. But it's not, if that makes any sense whatsoever. No, it doesn't. But I thought I would do something a little bit kind of arty. And yes, I'm going to be using these. Oh, yes. So I did have a few spare <laughs> pencils that I chopped up the other day for me pencil table that I made. I don't know if you've seen that yet or not. Um, but, um, check it out if you haven't. It's over there. Uh, so I've got a few spare pencils. So I thought we would do something with these again. Um, but I thought I'd funk it up for you. Because you know how I love funky things. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to do layers because... What I don't want to do is I don't want to waste the pencils and the resin. Yeah. Like so. And then we're just going to fill that bit with resin. Okay. That's going to set overnight. Then we can put in a nice blank, which we will find a bigger one than that. Fill the rest with resin and pencils. And happy days. Hey. There we go. Uh, now, weirdly enough, there's a few bubbles in here. Um, and obviously the pressure pot is obviously supposed to take the bubbles out. But what I think has happened is there's obviously a lot of uh, air inside these pencils and, and it's sort of come out there. But I don't think that's gonna be too much of a problem because we're not gonna see some of that. We're gonna shave some of that around. I think it'll be all right. I think the end result will be fine. Let's hope so anyway. Right, so what we're going to do now is find a little blank. We're going to put that in there. I'll just super glue it to the bottom there. That'd be fine. And then we'll fill this up with some more pencils and resin. Get that in the pressure pot overnight. And then we're going to make some more funk. Oh, yes. Magnum. I found this chunk of wood and that should be just nice for that. And then we could potentially put this one on as well. So we've got two chunks of wood in there, that should be enough. So we only want to see this around. That should be about that thickness. Yeah, that should be fine. Right, let's get a glue in. Right, there's our pencil chocolate cake. Uh, we're going to stick this in the pressure pot now, leave that overnight. Well, it's going to be left for a couple of days, I think. And then we'll bring it back out and get it on the lathe. But we haven't finished yet, by far. Right, let's have a look at what we got. Again, I've no idea what we're going to be making. Well, kind of. No, I don't. Now that looks 
pretty weird. Don't worry, this is not gonna be any normal bowl that you've ever seen before in your life. Trust me. This sanding is really, really messy. Right, this is looking pretty good so far. So again, not worrying about this because I'm gonna chop this off and then we're gonna create some real crazy stuff coming out of the top of this, I reckon. But it's looking quite good. Little bit of chip out, nothing major, so that's quite good. Getting ready to flip this over. Gonna get my emblem in the back here, I think. But yes, I'm really hopeful for this. I'm thinking this is gonna look pretty sexy. <laughs> Okay, so this is what she is looking like now. This is the back of the bowl, clearly. <laughs> uh, I just used these Abalon pads again, uh, these, and it comes up really nice when you use these. So went from 500, 1,000, 2,000 to 4,000. So uh, what we've got now is I'm gonna put a little bit of probably Yorkshire on this, not pudding, but a bit of this. Uh, we're gonna get this uh, shined up a little bit and then we'll finish it with some EE Ultra Shine. Again, nothing to do with the mobile network. <laughs> Woohoo! Check this out, folks. Now that is just a taste of what's to come. When we get into this bowl and really take out all the inners, that is going to really pop out really nicely. But like I said before, this is nowhere near what it's going to look like because I've got some real funky plans for this. Just stick with me.
this does actually look pretty good <laughs> as it is. And I really do like it. It has come out really nice. And look at the clearness and the resin just popping through and the pencils just hanging around in there. Floating pencils in a bowl. Does look pretty cool. However, <laughs> I am about to massacre this. And I know some of you are gonna go, oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing, Nick? But, like I said, I wanna do something different and I wanna try and make it a little bit more arty if I can. But I'm thinking, it doesn't matter because if it doesn't work out, I think I can fix it. <laughs> I think. So, bear with me. So this is the kind of look that I'm kind of going for. <laughs> um, so that like, I'm sort of thinking that the pencils are kind of like just popping out of the side. Um, all different angles and stuff like that. So it's gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna get these resined in as well so that you won't see any kind of like marks like that in there. They'll all be resined in. I'm just gonna make the holes first and then yeah, just see what, <laughs> see what we come up with. I don't know whether we carry on sticking pencils out here as well, maybe. I don't know, we'll have a little, see how it goes. But um, yeah, it certainly is gonna be different <laughs> and weird. Yep, but you know what? <laughs> you said it. We like weird, don't we? It's kind of looks like something out of Little Shop of Horrors. Feed me, grab on, feed me now. I told you I was gonna funk this up and make it a little bit strange. I actually think it turned out pretty cool, and I could have left it as just a pencil bowl, but I don't want to do that. I think it's good. I think it's pretty cool. Definitely weird and definitely only one of these in the world. It's a bit spiky. Well, there you go, folks. I've got my number 19 in there. Is it 19? It is 19. And I love the way this resin has come out. Cheers, Entropy. This resin is pretty awesome. Check out the link below for Entropy resins. Entropy. Entropy resins, <laughs> it's pretty cool stuff. I think every angle looks pretty cool and weird, doesn't it? And if you look at it up against the light, let's bring this little light over here. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's like something from another planet. It's come down to 
eat you. You'll have to excuse my hair. I've no idea what's going on with it today. It's just as weird as this bowl. So there it is, folks. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, really. I kind of wanted to do something a bit strange. I kind of had this idea of the sort of like a pencil bowl, but kind of sp spreading out with pencils. I was thinking about adding some to the sides, but kind of when I did the top, I thought that was kind of enough, really. Um, and also, you know, obviously because we've got the tips on there, if they ever broke, which they are very delicate, it's not a problem. You could just chop the top off, drill it out, stick another one in there. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I actually do like this a lot, and I don't always blow my own trumpet, as you know. But on this occasion... Folks, if you don't already know, please head on over to Makers Central. This show is going to be pretty epic. I'd love to see some of you folks there. Come and say hi. There's loads of people coming. Check out the site. Just have a little look around. Look at what we've got going on there. It's for kids. It's for families. It's for all sorts. It's for everyone. And it's a really cool show on May the 2nd and 3rd at the NEC in Birmingham. You're going to love it. Grab a ticket and come and see us. Also, folks, please check out my Instagram if you want to follow me over there. I've got a personal one and a Nick Zamedi one where I stick up little pictures and videos and clips and stuff. Things going on in the workshop before I actually post a video. I'm sorry I didn't get a video out last week. I've just come back from holiday and it's been pretty crazy. So it's actually Friday today and I've not even edited this yet so i'm now gonna rush inside edit it all hopefully get this ready for you for tomorrow wish me luck oh and also before i go check out the maker central members area i will do a actual video on this for you but i'll probably put it up on maker central uh youtube channel which we do have if you want to head on over there and subscribe to that but the members area is really great and you guys get some really fantastic benefits for signing up. Mainly loads and loads of tool discounts, material discounts. We've joined forces with lots of companies and they've given us exclusive discounts just for our members. So check it out. And if you're already a member, you get early access to the show and I'll see you there. Well, that's it folks. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video of this scary, <laughs> crazy looking weird bowl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Again, please check out all my other links below. There's loads of things in there for you guys where I get my music from. My little boy's channel, Charlie the Maker. You might want to check him out. My Facebook page, Twitter page, and everything else is down there. So check them out. Have a little gander around. Click on some of those links and subscribe and follow. Also, if you could share this video, it will be a massive help to me and the channel, and I really do appreciate all your support. And once again, thank you to all the new subscribers that have come over to, ch to, the, to, the, to the channel. Unreal, thank you so much. I think it was down to the pencil table that I put out the other day, which has just gone nuts. Which I was so chuffed that you guys like it because it did take me absolutely ages. If you haven't seen the pencil table, river table, blah, 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 with loads of pencils running down it, check it out. So I appreciate you stopping by and, and hanging around after you watch that. There's loads of other funky videos that I've got on my channel. I think about 300 of them. <laughs> but don't go back too far because it gets a little bit stranger and weirder. Not in a good way. So anyway, as I digress, thank you to ev for everyone's support. It really does mean a lot. Well, have a fab weekend, folks. Take care, and I'll see you all soon. Ta-ta.